So this is why you're doing things that really aren't authentic to who you are and why you keep getting distracted from following your purpose. Most of the time, you're going to get a lot more validation from people around you, from society, from your family, from your friends, from the people that you're in a relationship with when you go do what they want you to do or what they think is right for you rather than when you follow your heart rather than when you do what you feel you are called to do. So this creates a dynamic where it becomes extremely difficult to actually pursue your dreams, pursue your goals, and consistently do what you really want to do. Chances are there's somebody close to you that is rewarding you right now. As I speak to you, you're being rewarded to do things that might not necessarily really be your highest calling or what you really desire to do with your life, but they are patting you on the back for doing something that they want you to do. They're giving you initiative. They're giving you incentive to go out of your way to ignore your calling, to ignore your purpose. And so no wonder you're being distracted and pulled away from it and constantly just disoriented, not really able to focus and concentrate on your path. Here's your challenge. Here's what we all have to do if we want to live out our deepest potential. Say no to the validation. Say no to the approval. Say no to the things that other people want us to do. Say no to the things that other people try to get us to do because it's their intention for us and not our intention for us. Start with your intention for you. What's your intention for you for today? And to make an intention for yourself, it's actually really simple. All you gotta do is look at the things that you most enjoy doing. For me, it would be actually sitting down right here and recording a video. Now, I will get rewarded to go do a bunch of other stuff, which I'll still do a lot of other stuff like work with companies and clients, and I love doing that just as much. So don't get me wrong, there are other things that you might enjoy doing that you also wanna do, but for me, it starts right here. This is number one for me. This is what I wanna make sure I do because I really, really enjoy it. And whether I'm recording a video for YouTube or whether I'm recording a video to help with some other work that I'm doing or somebody that I'm collaborating with, I don't mind. As long as I get to create content and share and help people live their dream because I feel that's my highest calling in life. Now, what is that for you? What do you most enjoy doing? Is it about going outside and getting the ball and kicking it between two trees? Because honestly, for a lot of you, you're called to a sport and you love that and that's what gets you engaged and that's what you really enjoy doing the very most. So why would you hold yourself back from doing that and instead focus so hard on studying or focus so hard on trying to do a great job at a job that you don't really like? Now, don't get me wrong. Sometimes you have to do things that you don't love doing, but let's set your intention first. Could you wake up an hour earlier to go kick that ball or whether it's dance or singing or creating your business and building your funnel on your new websites, whatever it might be for you. Can we do that first? Can we make that the priority? Can we put that ahead and in front of everything else? Because I'm telling you, the moment that we do that, we are regaining a ton of power. We're regaining a ton of momentum. And really, we're taking responsibility to say, if I don't put my dream first, nobody else is gonna do that for me. See, many years ago, the only job that I could get was as a janitor. And although it wasn't a very lucrative or nice job, it got me through a certain period of my life where I, while I was, you know, sort of establishing my business initially. And although, yes, I had to go and do that, before I ever went and did that, I made sure that I recorded some content, that I worked on my website, that I you know, reached out to some potential clients, that I did something towards my purpose before I ever let myself go and do other things that you know, somebody else's agenda. Somebody else wanted me to make sure that that area was clean, that was their agenda, their vision, their initiative, and I was falling into that, but I made sure that I put my own priorities first. So even if you're in a spot right now where you can't focus on you first, where you can't say, okay, I'm gonna quit this job and go do what I love full time, that's fine. Just start by putting what you love first and then go do that job and then go do that thing and then go study and then go do all that other stuff. But put a little bit of practice in, put a little bit of work in first in a thing that you really care about. And I'm telling you, the moment that you do that, paradigm shift. 
completely mind shattering for a lot of people, including myself, in that really now it feels like, wow, I do what I want first and then I go do whatever other people need me to do or whatever else I need to do to survive. But first I listen to my soul. I put my heart as number one. That's my first priority. And then whatever comes after that is almost like a nice little bonus, you know? Yeah, that helps me do that thing that I wanna do the most. But a lot of people have it all backwards. They go work a really hard day, you know, at the office, they come home and then they're like, oh, well, I'm too tired to work on my passion. Well, of course you are. Start your day with that. Wake up earlier, you know, change your schedule, make it so that you put that first and make it so that you're really noting it to yourself that, hey, this is a big priority in my life. This is something I really care about. And the moment that you have that installed right there, now we can make some other power moves. Now we can really start to create some more momentum. Now we can start to say no to a lot of those other things that are distracting us or aren't serving us because now when somebody comes to you and says, hey, can you pick me up from the airport? Or hey, can you, you know, uh, I don't know, drive me to town? Or can you uh, buy this thing for me at the grocery store? Can you go out and do this for me? Can you get me this? Can you help me with that? usually you'd be probably hard pressed to say no because you feel kind of guilty or like, I don't really have anything better to do. Oh man, I guess I just uh, say yes and then I go do it. And then guess what? You're people pleasing. Now, since you have that first establishment, you can say no to a lot of those things because you'll say, hey, wait, that can be extra time for me to go work on that thing that I care so much about. That can be extra time for me to go chase my dreams. Uh, No, I'm not going to the grocery store to get you some lettuce i don't know <laughs> because i can work on my dream right now this is time right here that's important and maybe i can go get the lettuce later but you see i'm gonna put this first again the more you practice that the more you practice that the more you practice that the less you're taking the validation and the little hit of dopamine the little hit of you know serotonin whatever it might be like these little chemicals are releasing in your brain endorphins telling you oh yeah great you're helping other people you know but you're running around and you're not serving them or you because you're not really pursuing what you want most. Now, when you pursue what you want most, those little distractions come up and you go, mm, I don't think so. I'm gonna prioritize this again because you've already demonstrated to your unconscious that, hey, this is important. This comes first and then everything else. And then you start prioritizing it more and more and more. And this is exactly what happened for me and more and more. And I started saying no to, you know, driving somebody to the concert because, hey, I'm gonna make some content. I'm gonna work on this. And even though I'd get paid to drive, I wouldn't get paid to make the content. It was the right choice because over the long haul, the content paid off tenfold and hundredfold and a thousandfold to the point where I'm in complete financial independence. I'm able to just live off of investments, create more and more wealth, still continue to help and serve, of course, because it's what I love to do and work with great companies and great people, but it's from freedom, not desperation. And I really want you to experience that in your life. And the only way you do that is by prioritizing the things that are important to you. The only way that can ever happen is if you put you first, because nobody else will ever do that for you. No matter how much they love you, they have their agenda for you. They have their version of what they want you to do. And that's not to say that they don't care about you. Of course they do. Your family probably loves you and cares about you. You know, your partner probably loves and cares about you deeply. If you're in a good, healthy relationship, at least that is, right? Your friends probably love you and care about you. But of course, they're in their movie. They're the main character there. And in this one, it's you. And I'm here to support you. And I want you to make the decision to put you first because that's the only way that you'll ever be able to serve the people around you to your highest abilities anyway. You know, being able to provide for my family or help people around me or friends and influence people and really make a difference has come as a byproduct of me investing into myself and putting personal development and my own evolution, my own transformation first. And that's what creates the platform for me to operate from and go add so much value out into the world. Now, I ask you again, what is that thing for you that you're going to put first? Instead of getting distracted, instead of getting validated for getting distracted, what are you going to prioritize? What are you going to really put first in your life? What really matters to you? What is your heart calling you to do? Can we make that first? Can we finally make the decision to say, I'm gonna wake up every morning, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna focus on it, I'm gonna change my life with this. This really matters to me. This will really make a difference in my life. And finally, 
I'll be happy and fulfilled and from that place. I'm operating so much better in such a higher frequency that I won't get distracted, I won't get pulled away. My attention will not get diluted into other things that really don't add value into my life. And that's what I call a successful transformation. That's what I call living your dream.